Morning my friends, today is day 31. I realized I was off on my days when I tried to use ye old noggin. I put everything on the calendar so I can keep better track. And last time we had a video, they had the rebar bent and in the footers. Um, but today the cement truck is coming. I think I hear something coming down the road, but they have the rebar up on the chairs now. So it's uh, elevated and there will be uh, pouring some footers today hopefully we're just waiting on cement trucks seems like every day is an exciting day because we got a new thing done we have oh look we have a hole in the ground oh look we have footers in the hole oh look we got rebar in the footers oh look our driveway so much better well today's an exciting day because I'm pretty sure that's cement trucks I hear over the hill let's go take a peek that is a cement truck no question. He is moving slow, but that driveway is uh, kind of new with all the material they put on, on the driveway. It's not super packed down. But that is definitely a cement truck. The truck is getting set up. They're putting those little extensions on so they can pour over the hill. The guys down there in the trench are doing some last minute checking so that they can get the footers just right. And we are just moments away. Well, that first pour that I showed was a little bit of a tease. They uh, had the guy pour just this little bit of a corner right here so that they could have the blend between the footers and the wing wall retaining wall. Now they're going through and the gentleman in the truck is pulling forward a little bit at a time while they swing that ramp back and forth, pouring the cement into the trenches. Hey, Cody. How many trucks today? Three. Oh wow. Okay. And a call back. It should be like I think like 30 yards sitting in here, 25 to 30. Okay. Very cool. Really good footing. Nice foundation. This is good concrete. And this was the 4,000 PSI? No, this is 3,000. This is 3,000. What it does is that you go 3,000. 4,000 for the wall oh. and 3,500 for any exterior. Okay, so this is three, the yeah, walls will be four. Because it's such a bulk and big area that it doesn't have to be that big a PSI. Okay, I got but you. But when you get thinner and thinner or whatever, you want more PSI and stuff. Okay. To, to be, uh, uh, so we pour the right exact mixtures that go for each phase of the job. <laughs> pour a little drag up there. Oh, the second truck is over there. And then the gentleman in the truck, they have a little wireless remote control for uh, raising and lowering that ramp. I don't know what you call the cement, where the cement's coming down. We'll call it a ramp. There will be three trucks today. It looks like truck number two is going to pour the footers. I assume these guys are going to have to hop over to truck two as soon as truck one is empty. And the third truck is generating a dust storm, as I've said. A lot of construction and no rain. Truck number three. I guess they have to shovel the cement back this way. The truck backed up to the edge of that, which is going to be the support for the deck. Can't go any further. 
They did put some rocks over here on the right that he can back into the middle area. I'm assuming they're standard hand signals because uh, my guy just makes different hand signals than the truck driver watching him in the mirror just kind of knows what he's wanting. If you look closely, you can see their rebar is what they're using to figure out how to keep the cement level. Everything is smoothed off to the top of these rebar posts. And they use the laser to get all these rebars set to the same level. So we got this rebar. I don't know how far apart they put it. It looks like about three foot. I don't know. Yes, sir. So three trucks have been here. Each truck holds 10 yards. And we ended up with a little bit of a shortfall. Here comes truck four. I hear it coming up. Oh, see truck four. It's supposed to have, it was on the callback. It's supposed to have three or three and a half yards. I forget which, I think three. Let's change angles while they're getting set up. my friends it is about 24 26 hours after they poured these footers they are strong enough to at least hold mika i was told do not let her up here for about four to five hours and then be safe but i waited 24 hours before i let her up here you can now see the height delta between the footer for the retaining wall and the footer for the house they did this so the retaining wall will sit down a little bit lower and as we backfill uh, gravel and dirt and all that this footer will apparently never be seen and then the retaining wall will go up from this one same thing on the other corner way over there the uh, retaining wall is lower than the other now we can see that we have all of our footers poured and starting to cure the wall in the middle here as we hop over because i don't want to walk on the cement <clears throat> this wall or a footer you see the rebars stick out. Mika, please don't step on them. Don't eat it. Um, you see these rebars stick out just a little bit. They're all exactly one inch lower than the cement. All these rebars are everywhere. Every chunk of footer that's out here has these rebars in them. And the idea was they used the laser and the stick to make sure all these rebars were the exact same height. That way they could have level walls. But we're going to put a 2 by 8 wall on this middle one. The reason this is an inch lower is because when they pour the slab in here, this will all be cement. There'll be a, uh, another inch of cement plus 4 inches for the slab on top of this. So this wall, they didn't want to pour the 3,000 PSI the whole way. The floors are going to be 3,500 PSI. And my walls are all going to be at 4,000 PSI. The builder wants 2500 psi so everything's kind of overdone hey i'm okay with that and you see look how wide this t wall is outrigger wall dead man call it what you like i mean that is a lot of dirt now you understand when that t wall is up here they build this wall that is rebarred in to this wall if it goes to pull up it can't because there's a lot of weight back there holding it down we have footers next step is not for a few days that was the cement guy's technical term every time i asked them a few days until i finally narrowed them down to this needs to cure for five days and then he comes back and starts framing till next time